The knockout stages of the last traditional Champions League begins tonight. The road to London 2024 begins now. It has been 20 long years since the underdog odyssey of Porto in the Champions League and the legacy of the legendary Jose Mourinho was born. At that stage of the competition, Porto beat another English side in the last 16, that was Manchester United. They host Premier League title contenders Arsenal, who fell at this stage of the competition last year. Francisco Conceição, undeterred by the presence of Zinchenko, and it was Ben White who almost turned it into his own net. Well, with a little bit of a wicked deflection from Marek Taremi. And the Gunners are firing blanks. They're unable to escape their own half as Conte Schau has it turned onto the post. Evan Nielsen keeping it alive and Arano slips it through. The Blue Dragons breathing life into their Champions League knockout stage campaign. Very early on against Arsenal. Chipped over the top for Bendel. Now Taremi. The Iranian goes back to Galeno. Blasting the fingertips of Raya. Athletic save, but what a strike. By the guard. Now Havertz. Saka. Brings the ball under control and it wails wide. First attempt on goal from Arsenal. Set piece and is in off the crossbar. Emphatic goal from Porto. And a brilliant Brazilian brace. Odegaard chooses not to open up for the cross because Havertz, with a training ground routine, didn't quite pay off. Martinelli. Large Brazilian contingent here in Puerto. And the slick surface couldn't carry it beyond Diego Costa. Saka. Odegaard. And now Nelson. Back to the captain. Trying to work his way past Galeno, the goal scorer now. And Ketia staying on his feet. And he finally releases it to Martinelli, who unleashes a comeback for Arsenal. Remember, there's no such thing as an away goal anymore in this competition. Not that it makes it any less important for Arsenal to take back to the Emirates and build upon. It's Porto 2, Arsenal 1. This would serve just as well as a testimonial match to Diego Maradona had it not been for the huge stakes of the UEFA Champions League quarter-final on the horizon. Napoli host Barcelona. I mean, back to Cancelo and Felix hurls it over the bar and hits a bird on the way through. Politano can control the tempting nature of the volley. Aussie men who would be keen to mend his African Cup heartbreak has found Politano who's dribbled his way in in a way indicative of Diego Maradona himself. Kashila cuts inside, Cancelo links up with Politano, he's back to the Georgian, he belts it off of the ad boards. Corner to Barcelona, Arejal leaps up in Felix, he's tucked it away, he's pounced on the chaos of the corner kick. Swung in by Frankie de Jong and muted by Orijal for the Portuguese wonder kid. Ozyman Tazielinski returns it back to the Nigerian and the masked man loses the palms of Ter Stegen. Torres. Now Felix. Alonso, Barcelona playing slightly reserved now in the dying embers of the game. Lorenzo linking up with Ozzyman! Once again, the German has his number. Barcelona hold on to take a 1-0 victory back to Catalonia. 
in the perishing temperatures of Paris, the French tycoons take on Real Sociedad, who return to the Champions League for the first time in 10 years. Turmoil for Kieran Tierney, he's gave it away to Dembele, and now here is Kylian Mbappe. An early taste of the venomous French threat. Oyezabal has a strike blocked. Now Traore keeping the pressure on Paris and Oyezabal this time asking better of Donnarumma. There Emery, wonderful footwork, he's worked an opening for Kylian Mbappe. And even he can't perform miracles from an impossible angle. Wani to Dembele. Brilliant save. Try to curl it into that Sociedad goal. Michele Marino. Has another try and this time he picks out Traore. It's a promising move from the Spaniards. Where's the ball? Yes, he finally finds the back of the net and Paris are stunned. The captain of the Royal has stunned the kings of Paris Saint-Germain. And the game is certainly getting on a bit. Not much time now for the French champions to find their way back into this. Li Kang in back from international duty in the Asian Cup. Dembele, now Bitinia pops it forward to Marquinhos. What to apply? Almost instantaneous, both captains on the score sheet. And it's the Brazilian Marquinhos who pops up as the least likely goal scorer. Noyes a ball a chance to flip it back on Paris once again. Swung in Dembele. Paying it forward. Now here Emery. And it's the youngster who's taking Paris by storm. He can never quite write off the capital club. They turn it around, they come back from a goal down. It's Paris Saint-Germain 2, Real Sociedad 1. Ten years ago was Atletico Madrid's first Champions League final. One year ago, Inter Milan were the runners-up against the reigning champions, Manchester City. It's the biggest game of the last 16 so far. Who's it going to be? Griezmann takes the challenge and he follows up. In the blink of an eye, he fell short on the initial free kick and he made amends and adjusts Atletico Madrid's lead in the early moments here at the Giuseppe Mezza. Varela cuts inside Lino and this travels all the way to Chiran. And it's a good adjustment from Oblak to keep that out. And Dumfries has half the pitch to himself and Chiran in the near post. Dumfries is certainly a busy boy on the right hand side and he's picked out Lautaro Martinez who helped it on its way through for an unfortunate own goal and Oblak couldn't keep it out disorientated by the cacophony of colours red, white, blue, black and the pinball jackpot falls to Inter Milan in the end Chiram guiding it to Mkhitaryan. He picks it out. Marcus Chiram, great save from Oblak. Difficult one to get down low and quickly as possible. Varela flicked on to Mkhitaryan and Martinez slips. The crucial call. There's Marcus Chiram. Also had an eventful game so far. Now Dumfries can finally make it pay off. Nuno flipping into Milan's goal kick back on them. Here is Koke. No, it was okay. Just not good enough. Griezmann. Now, De Paul Morata to put them ahead. And that's disgusting. So, what on earth was he thinking? Now, Chiram is going to make him think twice about this. 
because Inter Milan have struck twice. Lillian's little boy ain't so little no more. Oh, he's grown into this game and rose to the occasion. The World Cup runner-up runs up the score for Inter Milan. Internationale 2, Atletico 1. The age-old football rivalry, the Netherlands versus Germany, comes to club football as PSV Eindhoven host Borussia Dortmund. It's the Wood Witten's first appearance in the knockout stages since 2016. Fulkrug back to the new boy. The new old boy, Jaden Sancho. Grant down the centre to Fulkrug. They swept it away, great save. It will be a battle of the big men, the two tall strikers between De Jong and himself. But De Jong, and I think he got a glance on that, but it's captured by Kobel. Till. Bakayoko. He pips Bentabeni to it. Sprays it over the top to Luke De Jong, who's one on one with Kobel. And he clinches it. First goal for PSV Eindhoven. They stun the visitors and arguably the favourites in this encounter. Out of nothing. Jack and Brat. Dortmund improvising, moving forward. Not looking back in anger and Brat has it tipped away by Benitez. Fulcrum. And there's Marius Wolf. Wolf rushes one just over the crossbar. Now back here, go down the line to Till, who slams on the brakes past Schottlerbeck. And De Jong has looped it over Kober. And the lead is extended. And Luke De Jong barely had to leap for that one. Tucks his head down and springs it over the head of the Dortmund keeper. PSV are nicknamed the light bulbs. They're lighting up the city of Eindhoven tonight. There's Wolf, he's played short to Marlin. Laid it off for Fulkrug for the easiest goal of his career. And we're equal once again. Well, they say Santa Claus is Dutch. Well, Christmas comes late. It's the gift that keeps on giving a game full of goals. Leon sets himself. And he's gone down for a penalty. What surprises does this game have left to give us? And De Jong converts for a hat-trick. What a story. PSV Eindhoven running away. With a thrilling lead over Borussia Dortmund. Marco Rice. Have you know Giddens? Adiemi. Tucks it in. The game remains wide open. Kevin Adiemi coming on and scoring with his first touch. It's not a bad setup from Fulkrug. Fulkrug. There's the veteran Marco Royce. Now Sebastian Arler has slept in. Life doesn't get much better than this for the Ivorian, doesn't it? Returning from Africa as the hero. And the elephant stomps his way into the PSV box to save his team once again. Having Lozano, if anyone's going to give Wolf a race, it's going to be that Mexican. Now Van Anholt, where did he come from? The Galatasaray loan reaps profits for PSV. Patrick Van Anholt, he's a fullback. Popped up as a makeshift striker. Surely, surely not. And it's back into Rice. And it's Adiemi looking for a second. And this time Benitez was smart to it. It's the last kick of the game. Seven goal thriller in Eindhoven. It's PSV four, Dortmund three. We touch down in Rome. It's only the third. Knockout stage appearance from Lazio. 
They face a test in the form of the 2020 champions of Europe, Bayern Munich. An advance from Alfonso. And he finds Harry Kane. Spotted away by Pravidel. Zane, excellent hold up play. And the German, he finds Kane, who slips. Eager to get his knockout stage goal. Reacquainting himself with Manuel Neuer. Maricic. Takakini. Luis Alberto. Tried to get the jump on the German veteran. Wesley Koeman, the goal scorer in the 2020 final. Harry Kane demonstrating his strength. And he runs out of energy before he can roll it past Provedel. Kane locked onto Koeman first time. Waiting for the support from Goretzka. Here is Leroy Zane. Just needs to cut inside. Oh, he picks up Koeman instead. And is tapped home by the aforementioned match winner of the Lisbon final in 2020. Bayern Munich off to the races now. Sprung forward to Leroy Zane. He's got a head start there. Goretzka finally catches up to Musiala. It's a parry away and it breaks the nose of Zane from Rob Agnoli. Musiala. And he's given Brian Zaragoff for a chance, the new boy. And able to pass it beyond Provadel. Lazio falls short, but just by one, it's Lazio nil, Bayern Munich one. We are at the brand new parking stadium, specially provided by Pappy John. And the link to his Patreon page with the model stadiums is in the description. Copenhagen already beat one Manchester side in the competition so far. And they haven't met the Mancunian champions of Europe. Cornelius with an early threat. And that's Manchester City clean sheet. As Jack Grealish turns and runs. And he takes a shot, it dips just in front of the keeper. Will Foden, one of the best young players in Europe, Holland. To Kevin De Bruyne on his return and once again startling the keeper. We all know it's his middle shooting main just like Odin. Now it's Holland. And the keeper is out of position. He squeezes it through. Camille Grabara doing the opposite of what his name suggests. Jumping the gun and couldn't grab. This ball in time. Holland stretching the park to his limits. Cross, but he finds Cornelius instead with a low ball for the Dane to seal. An equaliser, Copenhagen are capable of scoring. Manchester United know that all too well. And Manchester City are finding out. Oh, Falk caught that pass a little too short. It's a, it's a bad play and De Bruyne can flip it on. Copenhagen with Phil Foden. Punishing the complacency with 20 minutes remaining. And the visitors have a, an important lead away from home. Once again, the away goals don't count anymore. Walker, deep one seeking hole and who plays it back in the edge. Johnson bats it into Grabara's net. Dark horses in white, the bright horses maybe. Larson, Clayton, squeezes it through to Cornelius. Oh, God. A heavenly strike in the dying minutes of the first leg of the knockout stages. Copenhagen have taken a massive jump on Manchester City. What a goal! left on the clock, Julian Alvarez, Ruben Diaz with the back heel and oh that is Chiki Taka from Guardiola and it marks a lucky number seven goals for Erling Haaland, not bad for someone who's barely featured this season at all, 
us when we thought it wasn't going to get better than the PSV and Dortmund game. City and Copenhagen are giving us a run for our money and Foden has stolen it. In stoppage time. Phil Foden christening himself a foe of Copenhagen. One last roll of the dice for the Danes. Juliet. Gerarga. Jason. Juliet. Edison meets it. He's read the ending of this game. A thriller of seven goals. It's Copenhagen three. Manchester City four. Saving the best for last, it's Real Madrid with the best record in the European competition. We'll travel to Germany, they face Leipzig in the remodeled Central Stadium, once again provided by Papi John. Leipzig seal a dream start for Yannick Poulsen. And the Real Madrid have a black cloud over them to match the black kits. Rodrigo collects it from Valverde and he shares it with Jude Bellingham. Struggles against Orban. And Venetius has his follow up blocks not once but twice. Brazilian defending. Onricks down the line to Paulson. On the warpath. For RB Leipzig. Now Danny Olmo, the Spaniard, scores against the Spaniards. Spain's future is in good hands with the promising playmaker Yannick Paulson, goal scorer turned provider Nicius reaches his countryman now here's Germani across the face of goal here's Kamavinga with the camel toe poke to pull Dagalaticos back into the game desperate clearance from Orban we approach the hour mark here. Now Valverde squares it to Bellingham. England's man of the hour. Some might even say he's wasted in that midfield. Just stick him up front. It's all the goals you can ever ask for. Rodrigo. Now Real Madrid finding their rhythm. Vinicius follows up and he redeems himself for the earlier double block in the first half. And it's the third goal of the competition for the junior Vinicius. Almo to Appenda, slams on the brakes and he picks out Shabby Simons for a guilt edged chance. Cisco. Somehow squeezes through. Another brilliant save. Real Madrid hold on. It's Leipzig 2. Real Madrid 3. Plenty of goals in the first leg. Let me know which one of those games was your favourite. Surely the PSV and Manchester City games will be in for a shout. Speaking of Manchester City, Erling Haaland was the top goal scorer in the last tournament and he's already more than halfway there in claiming the golden boot this year. So, let me know who you think is going to go through, who can turn it around and will there be some more surprises in store in the second leg. Don't forget to like and subscribe to support the channel and as always, thank you for watching.